Well, it's been a little while since I did my last video and I'm back at this desk. I'm also using a new sort of table, so when I hit that, no vibrations. Yeah, uh, although the job was a bit of a failure. Anyway, this is the laptop that I was given some time ago. Uh, it's a Dell Latitude. I don't know if you can see down here, but it's a, it's a, a 7440. And I was given to me non-working, so non-functional. It wasn't posting properly. It kept coming up with a memory issue. The RAM that I tried to put in there, and now this is a close lesson, was not compatible. So the system wouldn't boot. Once the correct RAM was in there, it still wouldn't boot because it was not compatible. Yay. Now, my guess is that someone's torn this apart because there are a number of screws missing. I sort of replaced them for the most part. Uh, the hard drive was missing or the SSD that was in here. So this is a replacement thing that I picked up cheaply. And for now, it seems to be working. Oh, I did also update the BIOS. Now, there was a several BIOS updates since this thing was released, but you know, it's always good to install them. So today, I'm going to replace the thermal paste on the heatsink. Why? Well, I got a feeling someone's taken that off and I just feeling a bit weird about it. Just the way that I, I got this and the fact that it was a very simple issue to fix, which is disconnect this cell, this coin cell for the CMOS and it just worked. There was no problems or major issues. It just, the other thing that really drove me nuts is that I couldn't stick a normal mechanical uh, hard drive in here from a laptop. For some reason they were just the fraction too tall on the ultrabooks they suck so after looking online i discovered that there was a video a quick tutorial showing you how to remove this area it was very nice uh, i'll try to remember to link it in the in the description if i can but it's a store so eh. now this is honestly nice because i'd like to uh, edit some books on here not like writing them I'm scanning in old books just to get rid of all the background information. It's a sort of a digital archiving thing. And if you're wondering why there's so many shadows, uh, yes, this was recorded during the day, but the lighting is just shocking today. Now, I don't like how there is that. See, someone's really hacked at that, and I want to clean that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the... Heat sink, uh, sorry, the fan, which uh, this thing is bloody noisy. And the second, I'm going to remove the screws. Now they do appear to be labeled, so I'm taking one out first. Bloody hell. Two. Three. Four. Ooh, wow. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so that's something I was afraid of. First thing I'm going to do is grab myself one of these wet wipes. And I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to first work on this. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. I didn't bother asking the actual individual who gave this to me about the condition under here, but you always want to check if it looks like someone's torn a laptop apart. Now each laptop's going to be different with how to remove the heatsink. Some of them you need to really disassemble them and it's just nuts, but uh, a 2013 Dell Ultrabook. I gotta give the engineers over at Dell, they made this hell easy. I just saw what I did to take it apart. And it's just nuts. So I'm kind of afraid of bending the heat pipe, which I think it already is. God. This stuff's really caked on. This 
is just insane. And if you're wondering, no, I haven't replaced the battery in my UPS yet. Well, for the NBN, so... That I'm hoping to make a bit of a video. If you don't think thermal paste is an issue, well, you've got something wrong with you, in my opinion. And something's wrong with me because I didn't bother turning out and finding out whether or not there was a, uh, you know, there's going to be a thermal difference. And you know what? I'm going to give up on that for now. Let's go with something just a little bit stronger. Meso. So pour a little bit into the lid. Oh, that is strong. It's always strong for me. Methylated spirits is another one of those evaporating uh, chemicals that can be useful at times. Although I'm going to suggest that if you do use this, be very careful. And you know what? I totally forgot about my... Uh, So I'm going to put that away. I'm going to say success. And I'm going to take another one of these. Oh, hospital grade isopropylene wipes. So it's obvious that this is going to be a bit of an issue. So if I can get as much of that crap off as I can. Okay. I'm not 100% happy, but I'm going to waste a nice piece. So I'm going to bring this back and I'm going to try to tackle it. So this time I'm going to go with. Hold on. Isopropyl alcohol. Got a bottle of the stuff. There we go. enough for that I'm gonna have to get a couple more of these things they're just your like a typical beauty uh, cotton swabs that uh, was a suggestion from some guy who works on iPhones in the States I believe not that particular brand but using beauty ones 
So I figured, why not? probably should have done some more videos about this particular laptop but it's sort of in its uh, final stage Looks like the sun's finally come out. So that's a complete change in light and I should just be able to turn this off. There we go. I think I've run into the problem again. So another cotton swab. down here. So that's what I'm looking for, nice and sort of clean. So if you're wondering, uh, I do have these two flash drives at the back. So one of them is a 128 gig and the other one is a 64 gig. The 64 gig is being specifically used for temporary files and I'm still trying to figure out a way of moving my, uh, oh, what do you call them? User directory over to the 64 gig. I mean, this is only a 120 gig, so that's you know, the actual internal storage for this thing is mega at best so the flash drive is just over half <laughs> so i'm not really not afraid of running out of space on that 64 gig flash drive the uh, 128 is specifically for data storage so say for instance i want to whoops i want to copy something from my main computer or i'm um, you know editing these uh, pages i can do it straight off the 128 gig and i'm going to see if i can get the software i'll be using to sync to um that all right, and I'm at the point where I need to pause. So I'll be pausing this and coming back to it once the isopropylene is dried up. Okay, so first off, in now that it seems to have evaporated, not dried up, that's a real stupid term. Uh, I'm just gonna tackle this one more time because I can still see some gunk on it.
yeah, that's a serious amount. I wonder if someone else did try to reapply thermal paste to this, but... Who knows, who knows, who knows? Oh wait, I know who knows, I just have to ask him. <laughs> So first off, I'm going to see whether or not I can pull back some of this tape that's on here. And also on here. There, that's better. Now, I would consider about cleaning this, well, serious noisemaker out, but as you can see, this is just something I can use as a comparison. I mean, oh, here we go. 3.5mm uh, audio jack. Yeah, it... <laughs> that's how tiny it is. So, that's the fan that makes all the noise. Now that looks like it's dry, so I'm actually going to keep this out and use it still. I'll just give this another quick wipe over to try to dry it out. Okay, this is going to be a bit smelly. Whoops, and did I just... Yep, I just bumped the camera. That'll do. Okay, not good enough, but whatever. This isn't going to a customer, this is for me to use, so... I don't have customers. <laughs> uh, well. Okay. What on earth we? Oh. Here's what I'm using. I picked this up from a nearby computer store, and when I say nearby, I mean yeah, they're really close by to where I'm living, which was nice. I'm not going to go sort of anal about what kind of uh, thermal paste to use or, you know, this, this, this or this. I remember seeing online that people going off about how, oh yeah, you know, you can use uh, metal based thermal paste. It's this great stuff and ill. Sorry. prepared than this but put way too much on that and I'm going to do that to here and now I'm going to close this up
internet. See, this is why I refer to myself as an idiot. Just trying to coat, coat the uh, top of the silicon, at least what's available of it. And I'll do the same with this one, so meh. That's what I was afraid of. So with the angle that I have here, I can see my mistakes, which is always good. I need to get rid of most of this block here. And over here. All right, I'm gonna say that's it. I'm gonna say I'm happy with that, but I'm not really, and I'm gonna put back the heat sink. So, first off, I'm gonna to try to, yeah, screw that. This is it. Yeah, I only just noticed this, but there was a bit of a dust buildup on this side here, so I just blew through this top end trying to cover the, trying to cover that. And I'll just give this another quick wipe over. It's definitely not 100%, but I'm hoping that it will do. Ah, oh, so that easily, that was easy enough. Okay. And I'm going to put the screws back in in their original order. So, screw number one, number two, number three. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to go for the fan. And I'm just simply going to plug that in like so. And then... Dull. two screws back in and then I'm gonna have to clean my hands and the screwdriver
BRB again. So now that I've got my battery, I can pop this in. Flip it over. And it should just post. Will you post? There it goes, turn it off. So by the sounds of it, it wasn't going completely nuts like it did previously. Now if I go into the BIOS, Press F1 to continue. Okay, so I'm not hearing the fan go off. Okay, so I kind of screwed up and I showed a part that I didn't want to. Uh, it's just the top of the laptop. It's got something special on it. It identifies it, so I don't want particular individuals getting into trouble, although the system's still on as you can see. And before, which I didn't show, the fan was spinning at this point. So my hope is that obviously the thermal paste to put on here is gonna help keep it cooler, which is exactly what I want. And now I can just simply remove the battery. <laughs> All right, that was not as horrific as I thought it was gonna be. I'm happy with what I've done. I'm glad I didn't blow it up. I should probably cover that up, or the antenna, but I almost actually got myself an M starter drive for this, but the actual cost between getting this for like 30 odd dollars was yeah, just insane. <laughs> anyway, uh, this has been my video on reapplying thermal paste to this Dell laptops uh, GPU CPU combo. And, oh, one more thing. I almost totally forgot about this. Capped on tape. Hmm. Come on, you little. There it goes. Better. Ooh, that's not better. Okay, so I'm going to try and apply a small amount of Capton tape to where this little vent is, because there was something like that on here before, and I just want to even it out. Now, my guessing is this was to prevent any uh, air get not going through the actual vent. So I'm hoping that will help with that. Okay, and with this video done, oh, sorry, with that complete, I feel satisfied with what I've done. I'm just gonna make sure I put this capped on tape away properly. go. Back. Okay, uh, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching and yibbity yibbity.